This is how I made a pixel perfect leading crosser. Can be done for any game and works at any distance. I will be talking about games that have physics similar to the vacuum of space, where the velocity is constant and there is no air resistance, meaning that the projectile never slows down. It doesn't have to be a bullet. It can be a hatchet in Dead by Daylight. But it cannot be a ball bouncing all over the place and slowing down. Or Tarkov. Almost as realistic as Peggle. In real life, the more far away you are, the more you have to lead, even if slightly because of air resistance. But in games... It is a misconception to think that you have to lead more. But if you're using the same gun, bullet velocity and target velocity angle, and screen resolution, the leading is always on the same point, no matter the distance, as you can clearly see. Every crosser works at any distance. The crosser is a projection of the shot you have to make, a projection of the angle. This bird eye view really makes you understand how to lead at an angle, especially if you're using my tools which are working only for Ant Showdown now, but I will develop them for any game possible. If you want me to develop the crosser for another game first, you can contact me if you'd like to have perfect leading in that game. Thank you. 20 is the number of pixels you need to lead. The white line is the trajectory of the enemy. You are the red dot. And the center crosser is the point of impact of the bullet. This is only a quadrant of 90 degrees, not 360. So this is a simplified unit circle. We don't need the notation up to 360 because it's symmetrical and works the same way. Running towards the enemy or away from the enemy obviously has no lead. And a small variation in angle from a cardinal point also has not much lead variation. This is because it can be seen as a projection. The gray line here is the trajectory of our enemy, and the lead is the blue line, the projection of the trajectory onto our crosshair. If you're an experienced player, you probably already know this, but it is also important to know the 45 degree angle is not off of the lead, it is 60 degree angle or 30 degree, depending on how you count them. These tools can be done for any game. Even if devs don't give you information on the game, you can use one strong point of reference and mathematics to calculate everything else. Even if you don't have a point of reference, you can still use mathematics and measurement and scale everything based on that measurement to calculate the pixels even though you don't exactly know how far away things are because the calculation is an angle it's not about the distance also measuring by data gathering can be extremely difficult and many things can go wrong i want to try to convince you that the distance really doesn't matter with a simple visual experiment first as we said, the distance, like the distance traveled by the target and the distance traveled by the bullet are related one another, meaning that the ratio is constant because the speed of each one of them is constant. So given a, a second or given the time a bullet takes to reach the target, the as you scale them, as you scale the distances, the ratio is the same. This is important because that allows us to generalize this for any kind of target and bullet variation. So this is the lead as it is projected from the target trajectory onto our crosser. The leading crosser, the angle of the lead, the game crosser, the angle of the entire game f of v and the screen. If we take the angle of a lead and scale it linearly, so we increase the target trajectory distance and we put the target far away, 
the angle should be different, but it is projected on the same place. So the lead didn't change. Check it again. I will make it smaller again. And let's check if the lead changes. The lead of the angle is the same. This is what my crosshair does, but even just with the principles and without the pixel perfect leading crosshair, you understand a lot more about leading, I am sure. And another way to phrase it is, it is true that the leading, meaning the distance traveled by the target is larger, but as the target gets smaller and smaller, so does the hitbox of a target and so it scales inversely so the lead projection stays fixed in place thank you very much consider supporting me on patreon and i'll be doing another tutorial about drop soon enough and i'm doing so many things sorry for the slowdowns thank you thank you consider supporting thank you bye